Hey, what's up guys? Justin here with ExtremeTerrain.com and today we're taking a closer look at and installing the Rough Country Nudge Bar and Light Bar Combo available for all 21 and newer Broncos. Now the Rough Country Nudge Bar and LED Bar Combo that we have here today is gonna be a great turnkey option for the factory plastic bumper equipped Bronco owners looking to toughen up the front end a little bit more while also adding some auxiliary lighting at the same time. Now the Rough Country option will feature a powder coated three inch tubular steel build along with a single row 20 inch black series LED bar all for the low $500 price point. So right out of the gate guys, I do wanna make it clear that this particular nudge bar is only going to apply to the Bronco owners out there with the plastic standard or base bumper. This will not fit on the factory capable or modular steel bumpers with the tow hooks in the bumper, so just keep that in mind. Now with that being said, if you do have a factory modular bumper Bronco and you're interested in something like this, Rough Country has since come out with a kit that will work for your rig. However, this one is not it. Now that being said, guys, this is a great option again uh, from Rough Country to offer something for the base Bronco owners out there to give you something that is gonna kind of deliver those Safari Bar vibes, but with the added functionality of the light mounting possibilities. And that's exactly really what this bar is all about, thanks to the included 20 inch single row black series LED bar. Now this light bar will crank out an impressive 7,200 lumens at 100 watts, thanks to the 20 individual five watt high intensity Cree LEDs. Now those Cree LEDs are gonna be shining at a 30 degree spot pattern here, so that's gonna pump out all kinds of light. Now those LEDs are then loaded into the powder coated black die cast aluminum housing, sealed up well enough to achieve that IP67 waterproof rating. That's pretty standard in the land of aftermarket or auxiliary lighting. Couple other notables here, guys. Uh, the housing itself is equipped with noise reducers or noise silencers, and that's just there to help reduce some of the wind noise that can come along with having exterior mounted light bars. Uh, they also also kick in this tinted light bar cover. I like that. I know it's kind of a silly thing to point out, but nowadays a lot of state inspections are mandating that auxiliary lighting be covered in order to pass inspection. So that's certainly gonna save you some headaches there. And then last but not least, Rough Country also kicks in a very well-constructed wiring harness, which should make getting everything up and running a pretty easy task. And we'll show you a little bit more on that later in the video. But outside of the lighting, the nudge bar itself here is gonna be called a nudge bar for a reason. What do I mean by that? Well, this really isn't some hardcore piece of armor meant for heavy duty impacts on or off road. Instead, this is mainly going to be an appearance piece first with the benefit of being like a home base for auxiliary lighting. And then in addition to that, some light protection from minor impacts both on and off road. That's just gonna be the case here realistically guys with most of your bull bars in the category here including the nudge bar from rough country as are really not intended for heavy duty abuse now that's not to say this thing isn't built tough because it certainly is in fact you're looking at two and a half inch tubular steel throughout quality welds here and you get these little cool rough country cutouts kind of in the gusseting between some of the bars here just gives you a little bit more when it comes to style points Finally guys, everything has been finished off in this kind of textured black powder coat. That's gonna keep the bar itself looking good for many years to come and protect that steel finish from any possible corrosion. Now I do also wanna confirm here guys, with the nudge bar in place, you can still retain the use of your factory tow hooks, which I know is a concern for a lot of owners out there and rightfully so. Uh, when installing something like this, you still wanna make sure you have your recovery points and that will be the case with the Rough Country. Price point for the bar and light combo is gonna live right around 500 bucks, give or take, which for a turnkey package like this, I would say is very affordable overall. Now, you can certainly make things more affordable if you wanted to go with the nudge bar, but instead maybe opt for the four inch round lights instead, also from Rough Country. That's gonna save you about 100 bucks, give or take, but ultimately, again, guys, it's a great way I think to toughen up the look of that front end, add some auxiliary lighting, but without completely changing out that front bumper, which can get very pricey depending on your options. 
But let's move on into the install. And for the most part, guys, you are looking at a bolt-on job that will involve removing the hardware around those tow hooks we just talked about, along with some very minor wiring to get the light bar up and running for the first time. Now, because of all this, the site's gonna stick with a strong one out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter, taking about three hours or so to complete from start to finish. But to give you a better idea of just how things will go down, check out our detailed walkthrough and tool breakdown. For this install, you will need an impact, ratchets, six millimeter Allen socket, 10, 13, and 15 millimeter sockets, 13 and 17 millimeter wrench, and not pictured here is a razor or a sharp knife to cut the grommet through the firewall to get your switch through. What's up guys, today we're gonna to be installing a nudge bar on our Bronco, so let's get started. So our first step is gonna to be to remove our splash guard so that we can access our tow hooks, and to do that, we're gonna use our 15 millimeter socket on our impact. Go ahead and remove the six bolts holding our splash guard on. Go ahead and set this aside for now. And we can go ahead and remove our two plastic covers over our tow hooks. Now these will not be able to be reinstalled once you install the brackets for your nudge bar. Then again, using our 15 millimeter, we can go ahead and loosen up, but not totally remove our tow hooks. Just loose enough so they drop well enough so you can slide your brackets into place. Once you have not done for this side, you can go ahead and repeat that for the other tow hook. So now we're ready to go ahead and install our brackets. And for that, we're gonna go ahead and grab each one and slide the slotted end in between the tow hook and the frame. And you want your mounting points for your nudge bar to be facing out and up. So we'll go ahead and do it for both sides here. Next, we can go ahead and grab our splash guard and slide that back into place over our brackets. Remember to do this while it's still loose so you have the wiggle room to get your splash guard back in, because it will be a little bit tighter. And when it came out, there we go. And we're gonna leave that loose for just a minute so we can go ahead and tighten back up our tow hooks. Now we'll go ahead and grab our 15 millimeter socket on our impact again, and go ahead and pull our splash guard back enough to get access to our tow hook bolts, and go ahead and tighten those back up. Go ahead and do the same thing for this side. So now we can go ahead and remount our splash guard with the factory hardware. Go ahead and get our 15 millimeter bolts back into place. And we can go ahead and tighten those back down using our 15 millimeter socket on our impact. So before we go ahead and install this nudge bar onto the Bronco, we're gonna get our bracketry set up and get our light bar installed onto it just easier while it's off the vehicle. And to do that, we're gonna grab our 20 inch light bar attachment and go ahead and mount that onto our four tabs here that go across the middle bar of our nudge bar. And to do that, we're gonna use four of our 13 millimeter bolts, four flat washers, and four 13 millimeter flange nuts. Go ahead and get this secured down. So now we can go ahead and get our light bar bracket lined up. And we want our mounting brackets for the actual light bar to be kind of swooped up and back into our nudge bar. Go ahead and start installing our bolts here. And we'll get all four in place. 
Here we can go ahead and start installing our 13 millimeter nuts, flange nuts onto it. Then we'll go ahead and tighten these down using our 13 millimeter socket on our impact and our 13 millimeter wrench. Now to actually mount the light bar itself, we're gonna grab our two six millimeter Allen head bolts, two lock washers and two flat washers. And we'll go ahead and get our first one slid through as well as our spacer for the inside. We'll go ahead and get this first one started. And once we have our Allen head bolt and spacer in on that side, go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. Then we can go ahead and tighten these down using our six millimeter Allen socket. And remember for now, we're just generally aiming this straight coming out from the bar. We'll adjust it later once it's on the vehicle. Now we can go ahead and mount our nudge bar onto the vehicle. Now it is a good idea to go ahead and grab an extra set of hands for this if you don't feel comfortable wielding this thing on your own. But if you're sure-handed, you can take care of it by yourself. So we'll go ahead and grab two 16 millimeter bolts, two flat washers, and two 15 millimeter flange nuts for each side. We'll go ahead and get these mounted. Two in on that side. We'll go ahead and get our two bolts through on this side. Then we can go ahead and install our two 15 millimeter flange nuts on each side. We'll go ahead and do the same thing for the other side. Now we can go ahead and tighten down our bolts using our 15 millimeter socket on our impact and a 17 millimeter wrench for our bolts. These are 17 millimeter bolts, not 16s. And then we can go ahead and do the same thing for the other side. So now we're ready to start getting our harness in place for our LED lighting. And we're gonna start with getting our switch through the firewall. Now Ford was kind enough to bless all of us with a grommet that has nothing going through it, straight through the firewall under the dash. Now we've already cut a slot in ours, so you can go ahead and take a razor or something and just go ahead and cut a, cut a slot in that, just so you don't ruin the whole grommet, the outer part still seals. And then you can go ahead and get your connector pushed through, it will be a little bit tight. And once you have that through, go ahead and feed yourself a good amount of wire and send your connector, or your switch rather, through the firewall. Feed that right down with your grommet going right back into place. Okay. Next, we're gonna take our connector side we're gonna drop it right down in front of our battery where we can see light. Get it down close to our fender well. Get that down in position. Good enough to where we'll be able to grab it when we go back underneath the vehicle. It's gonna sit right between your frame and your fender liner. Around. 
You always want to remember though, you want to make sure any wiring is out of the way of your cooling fans or belts or any moving parts that might snag it and totally mess up your whole day. Next, we can come to our battery here, make our connections, and we'll go ahead and choose a 10 millimeter nut to go ahead and loosen up using our 10 millimeter socket on our ratchet. We'll go ahead and install our positive ring terminal here, and we'll tighten down our 10 millimeter nut back onto it. Then we can move over to our negative side. And we're gonna remove this 10 millimeter nut from our ground terminal. Go ahead and loosen that up with our 10 millimeter socket on our ratchet. And then we'll go ahead and install our negative ring terminal. reinstall our 10 millimeter nut and tighten that back down again with our 10 millimeter socket. Then we'll go ahead and close our positive terminal protector. Make sure to tuck our wire under it. Now your harness does come with a fuse and a relay in the circuitry and it does come with this little mounting tab here and you can choose a location to kind of tuck it up and clean up your mounting and wiring for demonstration purposes, we're not gonna actually drill any holes and mount this. We're just gonna kind of leave it right there, but you can clean it up however you choose, just a single bolt hole or screw, something like that, just to get it out of the way. So now we've come inside the cab and we're gonna go ahead and get our switch mounted. And for that, we're gonna go ahead and reach directly back from our hood release latch here. We'll go ahead and grab our switch and pull that up here and it does come with an adhesive backing and to make it easy we're just going to stick it on right here next to our factory lighting switch and then you can tuck your wires in through here or however you prefer to clean up and make it your own but something simple like that and we have our on off -off. So now we're gonna grab our connector wire from our LED light itself, and we're gonna get it routed through so we can make our connection to our harness. Now, being with the size of this connector and the tight spaces we have around our bumper and our grill, and also the louvers right behind the grill, uh, we found it easiest just for demonstration sake to go ahead and just tuck our wire right here behind our tow hook and then we can come around with our harness side and meet it back here and it still stays out of the way. So now we can come over to our fender well here. I don't know, it's hard to see, but go ahead and reach back to where we dropped our harness side connector down. We're just gonna pull that through the bottom of our fender well. And then we can go ahead and you can even pull this back out for a moment run your harness side connector out here. And we can go ahead and line up our connector. Go ahead and screw that into place. And then we can go ahead and tuck that back. Out of the way again, minding any moving parts, any fans, belts, anything like that. Alrighty guys, that about wraps up our review and install of our Rough Country Nudge Bar with 20 inch black series LED light bar for your 21 to current Bronco. Thanks for watching and as always, for everything Bronco, keep it right here at ExtremeTerrain.com.